Hello and welcome to SpinCast, the esports industry's number one podcast. My name is Sheridan and today I am here with Coach Brian Fennard from Mount St. Mary College. So tell us about your program. Yep, so uh, this is our first year as a program actually uh, at Mount St. Mary College. Um, we have teams currently in Overwatch, Overwatch 2, uh, League of Legends, Smash Bros, Rocket League, and uh, we have a lot of people playing Fortnite currently. Uh, we kind of dabble in a lot of different leagues. Um, obviously, com we compete in developer leagues like CRL. We'll be competing in ULL in the spring um, as a part of the ECC conference. So we'll be a uh, conference play for that. But uh, we also participate in a couple of CIC events. And you know, as, as things go on, we'll uh, be, be competing in others. But we're always looking to expand into other games. Um, you know, currently, this is what we have like students that are already on campus that are participating in. So uh, in a perfect world, I want to be participating in, you know, every game under the sun. Um, but uh, we, we, have a, we, have, we, have a, we have a very good bunch here already, which is really great. Um, we are finishing up our esports room, which uh, we have 11 computers currently. By the time the class of 2023 is here, it'll be 16. Uh, and then we'll be expanding more to probably 24 approximately in the coming years. Uh, Xbox Series X, and we'll be getting PS5s as well shortly. Um, and it's a very nice room, all things considered. Uh, when when I was competing, uh, our esports room uh, at my college was uh, effectively a storage closet. So uh, to have such a have such a large room and the support of the athletics department and the college in general is great. Um, and yeah, in terms of uh, the values of the program, I think. Uh, the most important thing to me is really just the mentality side of things. Uh, you know, there's there's a lot of factors that go into this, but uh, you know, it's uh, it's I think there's a, there's a somewhat common occurrence where if there's one player that's a, a GM or you know top 500 player or something like that, and they have a a team with a couple, uh, you know, for example, like plat players or something like that, uh, that GM player's mentality can be a lot more damaging to the team than. Um, than the, the benefit they're bringing by being a, a, a very good mechanical player. So uh, having that communication, everybody, you know, wants to accomplish the same thing. And that's being, you know, the best teams and players that we can be. So, um, you know, keeping that goal in mind is, is very important to me. So. And how do you encourage your players to keep a good, positive mentality? I, I think a lot of it just starts from leading by example. You know, I think uh, there, there are, there are it is not easy to improve at this stuff, um, but, and there are going to be hard days. There's going to be really demoralizing losses, um, but it, it's kind of built into the foundation of the program that it's like the, the losses, the, the, the tough losses are the ones you learn the most from. So I feel like, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's a lot of uh, reinforcement of that um, and, and just being there from, from the start with that it's not like uh th things go poorly you know the the mentality of the of the group is struggling and then we kind of um turn into like oh let's try and flip flip the switch right it's like ev everybody has known that from the start uh that that's just kind of how we do things here and uh the, the students have been very receptive to it and uh as, as time goes on that's just you know kind of kind of that's that's the standard that's set here so so tell us why Mount St. Mary is attending the Carry to College event. So yeah, obviously, you know, as a first year school, we uh, or as a first year program, we're we're recruiting heavily for for 2023 and beyond. And I feel like this is a really good opportunity to not only you know kind of speak on our program and what our values are, but to see see a large chunk of uh of students that are interested in this stuff. Um, you know, and I think um, there there's a lot of you know. Uh, the, the games that are being played are, are kind of, uh, you know, I I important for for not not only the current collegiate landscape, but like there there's a lot of of growth, especially for for some of them. So um, with new developer leagues and stuff, so uh, I think it's going to be great. Since the program is pretty new, what are your overall goals for the program over the next few years? I think right now we're we're really just looking. You know, we we we're in the athletics department, right? So. Um, there there is there is a expectation of of success right and like i want to succeed and win like i'm a hyper competitive person <laughs> so i think that that is, that is something that you know that has to be in the forefront of our minds but it's also building something sustainable i feel like um you know we, we've got a lot of support from from the school and from the the surrounding community about this but to be able to you know 
show that this is you know not just a phase i know that like we we know that right and, and a lot of the students probably know that but you know making sure people that aren't super informed or aware about esports uh making sure they know that this is you know on on the same level of sustainable as like a college basketball program or you know and any anything else that's in the athletic space so um I think that that's that's one of the goals. I think you know building something that lasts and and obviously winning. <laughs> I, I definitely want to win. And what would you say sets Mount Saint Mary apart from other college esports programs? I mean, I do want to preface by saying there are a lot of incredible co- college esports programs, right? Like, and and it's been really awesome to see as somebody that you know started college before there were any of these. So like, you know, I, I you know credit to all the other programs, but I think. Uh, we are uh, 60 minutes north, give or take, of uh, Manhattan, right? We're like right in the Hudson Valley, um, downstate New York. Um, I, I don't use the word literally in, in a hyperbole here. We are literally on the Hudson River. It's gorgeous. Um, so I think that, you know, in terms of location, there is not many better, I feel like, than than where we are. Um, we're, we're a pretty small school, you know, it's uh, about a Two thousand or so students, so it's a quiet environment, but it's also a very engaging area, right? Which is which is nice. Um, you know, we're not super. Uh, the, the The city of Newburgh is is nice, and there's a lot of great things going on there currently. Um, and uh, it just as a school, I think it's uh, we have a, we have a very big uh, nursing program as well, which um, you know a lot of schools if they have a nursing program, being in athletics is not even a consideration, right? Because there's a lot of, you know, it's a rigorous schedule, but uh, I think our, as, as, as a college, not just for esports, but we've done a very good job at making sure that if that's something that a nursing student wants to do, um, they're, that they're able to. And I think that there are other examples of working with that, um, with other programs. We obviously have like IT majors, we have a game design major that's been started up. Uh, so there's other, you know, very desirable majors for generally speaking, who's, who's, uh, the people that are that are going to be competing in collegiate sports but um you know that we're we're always looking to work with with students to make things the best for them and make sure that they're able to get everything out of their college experience that they could want so um but yeah definitely being on the hudson is very nice that's it's it is it is a great uh, great location what would you say are the important items that a student should consider when looking for these collegiate opportunities yeah so i i think uh it, it's important for i Going from a little bit of my experience, you know, I, I did transfer for college sports. Um, I didn't I didn't start my college career doing it, but uh, I I think there there is you know a, a trade off kind of because there there is a world where you know if if you want to go into established program, you can find that and and so being informed about what the program is, what space they're in, I guess, is very important. Um, and for some people, you know, you want to be in an established thing that's you know, totally reasonable, but I feel like for, you know, there, uh, this is what I, this is what I ended up doing. Right. But uh, I think that there's a really nice trade-off where if you're part of that first kind of wave of students in a program, you really get to, to be a part of, of the foundation. Like I've been talking about kind of um, and be a part of that culture that develops. Right. And I know for, for me personally, I, you know, some of, some of my teammates from those teams are, are my best friends from college. And I think uh, it's been kind of nice seeing that even though I've, you know, since moved on um, and I'm obviously not competing anymore, um, to see that kind of the, you know, traditions and kind of culture that we had, we had set in place years ago is still there and, and persisting through years and years. And there's something just really special about that, that I think, uh, you know, it, it, it can't, uh, it, it's, really, it's really hard to place a value on that, but it's super valuable. And I think also, you know, in terms of the competitive side of things, uh, you know, ha- having reasonable expectations, you know, at the end of the day, um, you know, everybody wants to be on a team full of, uh, you know, top 500 GM masters players, but uh, it's not always possible and having, you know, a good attitude about that and, and you know, being willing to to work with that is important. And also, you know, majors and and financial aid and stuff obviously but that's not really for collegiate that's like just being an informed uh perspective student in general you know and 
what advice do you have for students who want to put their best foot forward in approaching these collegiate opportunities? Being to the point where you're where you do we're even considering this at all is really you know impressive and it takes a lot of courage to do that um and i would just say to keep kind of you know stick sticking your foot out there and and um, get it's it's really you know the the initiative um that a lot of students take are already just by you know being engaged with this is great but to, to keep that up i would say what are some of the important qualities outside of the game that you look for in recruits I, I think, you know, it all kind of comes back to mentality, you know, like you, you don't have to be um, best friends with everybody. Like, you know, like I said, like I, I loved my teammates, but that's not going to be the case for everybody. Right. But, you know, being able to be kind of, you know, well, well adjusted and, and being able to, you know, put differences aside and, and just be kind of um, in, in, in that mindset. Right. Like that's not necessarily a game decision or like a metagame thing. It's just like, you know, at the end of the day, these are these are your teammates, your, you know, you you wouldn't you wouldn't be able to clash like that in a traditional sport, right? So there's no, you know, I, I know uh shocker, uh gaming can be kind of toxic, but uh that kind of, you know, mentality is just not um Gonna, gonna fly. So I would say, you know, make sure that that's the most valuable thing to me, bar none. How does your program plan to help new recruits adapt to maybe being in college for the first time, maybe playing on a team for the first time? I know college can be a huge like culture shock for a lot of people. Yeah, I mean, it, it's definitely a, it's a tough adjustment and it's different for everybody. But I think, you know, as much as um, there there is kind of, you know, the standard of of having a good attitude and stuff, like you also have to be kind of reasonable and and you know patient patience is really important you know especially for for students first semesters um that is a world of change especially if you're you know going you know halfway across the country or even further or you know international or anything like that right like that's a big adjustment and uh you know so i th- i think just being a support network um and making sure that they have access to the support on campus for things that I may not be qualified in, right? Like making sure that they have academic advisors or counselors or stuff like that, um, and knowing that they're there. Um, but you know, I think I think it's mostly just patience and an understanding of that this is a huge life change for these for these students. So thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us about Mount St. Mary esports. Awesome. Thank you for having me. So uh, I really appreciate it.